All right, welcome back to No Man's Sky. So this time out, I'm going to get the armorer and then the gardener. And uh, because I think I can get the armor and then not do any of his quests and get the gardener and then do the gardening quest because the gardening quests are going to give me stuff that I can make good money with. And uh, so to find an armor, of course, the most important thing for these quests is that they have a good name. So <laughs> trust me on this. Who are you? Uh, Lanawan and your warrior Ual. I'm going to talk to you just for the heck of it. Your Gex servant, ah, told me you were coming, and Loper, it's an honor to meet those whose bloodlust blood exceeds my own. Gra, we shall kill together for the glory. A great sentinel hunt begins. Come, let us inhale the requisite Gra Gra. The Viking is old. It is not their skin or appearance that suggests this. These beings are too alien, too unusual for me to make a judgment on that basis. No, it's the way they hold themselves, the way they speak. In an posture, when they smile at me and tell me it's an honor for us to meet, I believe them. Warrior Ual promises to come to my world and make use of my new weapons terminal. Decline. Was I misinformed? Well, interloper, interloper, let me know if you change your mind. I thirst for the hunt. Okay, good. So perhaps I'm looking for warriors in the various stations. So my hunt continues. This is, like I said, this is critical stuff. Guard Ampanes promises to come to my world and make use of my new weapons terminal. Uh, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I cannot do it. Warrior Ual. You can call me Al. Can I just call you Al? Sure. How about just Al? Is it I though? I think it's UAL. Have you reconsidered? Gra, you will never make a greater decision than allying with me. Warrior Ual promises to come to my world and make use of my new weapons terminal. Except. Gra, I will rejoice in the blood harvest. But tell me, do I need to pay for my own transit? Yep. i talk to you again. What do you got to say now? In my youth, I was a coward, infamous among my clan. I could not bring myself to shoot a simple geck, let alone a fearsome sentinel drone. But times change. We lose our weakness. I hope you will shed yours. Gra, I shall see you soon, interloper. Alright, good. So we've hired the armorer. Now, let's uh, change the quest back to the uh, expand your base which I think is near the end isn't it uh, expanding the base uh, return to the overseer let's do that the armor should be here wherever I put them right over here I need that he's there he would normally be waiting to talk to me but Al is not so bad yo Al nice I've seen a lot worse Let's talk to uh, the lead foot again. We should be ready for a gardener. Things are aligning. We are ready now for a geck farmer to show, to join us. I kept saying gardener, it's farmer. Indeed, I've already prepared their contract. All you need to do is gather the selenium required to finalize their workstation. Toy geck lead foot grows in confidence and seeks again to expand my home. I find it hard to disagree with them, for a farmer would open up a world of possibilities. The overseer needs selenium to complete the agricultural terminal plants. Selenium grows on scorched planets and requires hazmat gauntlets to harvest. Except, selenium is not easy to acquire in the wild, but this only proves the value of recruiting a farmer. Okay. They would have normally given me the hazmat gauntlets, but I already got them for free, I think, uh, through something. And, uh, and I'm kind of surprised you didn't give me a C upgrade module in this place, just to tick me off. Uh, Rodnia had a scaly planet and a scalding plant that's a hot planet that has selenium on it okay let's go here uh, this is where um, Ursh stew 3 and this is in the Rodnia system bring on the heat mmm a lot of water in this one we need to go to the land but I definitely want the sunny side Sunny side up. <laughs> I'll land here just because it's free. Then we'll see if I can find any selenium here. Selenium? Alright, let's look. Um, let's see here. What's this? Solar vine. That's it. 559. 
It's going to be easier for me to jetpack there, I think, just because. What is this, by the way? Let's get see if can I pick up any Remember my rule is uh is goodies first. There we go, nanites. Thank you. All right. Let's, uh should be some busted machinery, but it looks like it's up the hill, but not near here. I'll go get it. I never get anything good, but, you know, just in case. Damage machinery. Damage, broken, whatever. Ooh, a, star a starship shield module. That's actually worth something. That's incredible. There it all is right here. Easy, easy to collect. Got the hazmat gauntlets, all I have to do is walk up to this stuff and collect it. And there we go. Wow, that's 43 right there. I'm gonna collect a lot of it. There we go, I got it. But, since we're here, I'll collect all of it. Got you already, is that it? Probably missed one. I think, you know, yeah, you can tell which ones you've missed. Because they still have the lights on. It's very easy. There you go. Excuse me. Except this one. This one doesn't... Oh, no. Nope. It's just targeting here. There's two of them there. Okay, good. Alright, good. Let's get back to the ship. Oh, let's grab some navigation data, because... Why not? It's the NASA platform. Now, what is this anyway? I should go in here just to see. There's my navigation data. Uh, oh, there is somebody in here. Udney. Indy Udney. As I approach the electronic life form, they instinctively start to analyze me from head to foot. They chitter animatedly in their head and their head tilted to one side. They must see a few novelties on this bleach sun blasted world. They must see few novelties on this bleach sun blasted world. Uh Tutankhamen Medivit Fitzwar Share Entity Research. I mind that I know little of their kind or how they communicate. In response, their lights the lights in their mask flash a repeated series of three, building in intensity. Three. Um, three. Uncommon, rare. Let's give them rare. The electronic life forms light blaze with sudden intensity. My offering was clearly what they were hoping for. They rest their silicone hand on my visor and thank me with a transfer of language. I get the word for the and the word for two. Wow. That's incredible, man. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Really. Okay, let's check this out. Corvax transmission tower. A faint but irresistant insistent beep. Wow, it's not it's not the day to read. A faint but insistent bleeping noise can be heard from the operations terminal. A garbled distress call can be heard amongst it. Alongside screams and the tearing of metal. The only thing that's clear to me is a brief number sequence. Cracking its code could lead me to the crash site. Uh 241248 240. Uh-oh. This is where I pretend I know the answer and then edit the video as I... But of course I don't have to do that because I know the answer is 1440. Distress signal coordinates discovered. Freighter crash site located. Meh. I don't want a freighter crash site. Thank you though. Appreciate it. And uh, I did get some Corvax standing for that. So that's always nice. Here we go. Whoa! You're back. Alright, return to the Overseer. I got that... I know what I'm doing. I got that... I know what I'm doing. It's alright. Over here. I got, I got that stuff. Good grief. It is good to see you, friend. I trust the Viking technology kept you safe. I have the selenium required to finish the plans for the farmer's workstation. It will be interesting to see what effect a second gek will have on my overseer. 
I cannot imagine they have spent much time conversing with the scientist or the armor. Give selenium. Ah, to farm! We shall exploit the earth, free at last from the sentinels, and practice the glory of trade. New part learned. Agricultural terminal. And I have the parts for it if you would just let go of me. Just let go. There we go. Once you have secured our farmer, you will want to trade unhindered to profit from our glorious harvest without being dragged to and fro. Never fear, friend, for I shall make it so. All I require are a few circuit boards to finish the plans for the trade terminal of our own. For a trade terminal of our own. The Overseer requires circuit boards in order to create a galactic trade terminal. Blueprint. I, I, you're right. I read it wrong. I'll reread it, okay? The Overseer requests circuit boards in order to create a galactic trade terminal blueprint. The Corvex scientist should be able to provide the necessary parts. Except. Alright, so I've got to finish the Corvex quest next. I do not have the zeal for trade that seems to seize the Gek. Nonetheless, it would be convenient to tap into the galactic market from right here in my home. I already have this blueprint. It's okay. Would have gotten it for free. Alright. I think you're throwing up over there. Uh, let's go ahead and create the... Let's see... It's, uh, tech? Not weapons. Not science. Agriculture. New guide entry unlocked. There it is. Hire a base farmer. Staff are available to hire in space stations. Perfect. All right. Once again, thank you very much. Once again, we know what's important here. You? Aha! It's Velusu. I don't know. I kind of like the look. Hey, Velusu. Yeah, hireling Velusu. Friend, you have work for me, yes? I have served in the finest kitchens and gardens across 12 systems, in each one producing prize-winning cuisine. I grow all my own ingredients. Hire me, yes? The Gek chirps happily at the sight of me. They promise to help me grow all kinds of crops on my world. The required paperwork has already been signed, apparently. The farmer offers to join my world and make use of my agricultural terminal. Except, you're in, Velusu. Thank you, friend. Neither you nor your stomach shall regret it. Okay. Can I talk to you one more time? Will you have extra words? Tell me, traveler, does your homeworld have plentiful light? Is the soil bountiful? The air rich in oxygen? Say it does. Oh, friend, what joy! I shall grow such produce! Okay. What do you want? This is a home of glass and metal, traveler. It is in dire need of my touch. But no need to fear, for I come well equipped for such work. Continue. Gut rot seeds and planter plans received. Three items learned. Excellent. A foul smelling farmable flower that replicates chemical structure of fecal matter. When planted inside, yields a harvest of face fascium. A good alternative to collecting fascium by hand, which requires feeding creatures and then harvesting their droppings. Gut rot flowers must be grown in a hydroponics tray. Approximate growing time four hours. Alright, what else did we receive? I'm trapped here. A blueprint recorded to catalog some sort of a planter. A large hydroponic tray. I think I got a small tray as well. I already may have uh, purchased a small tray. Your first lesson will teach you to embrace the dirt, friend. The earth provides life and death, after all. Take this hydroponics tray and these gut rot flower seeds. Grow the flower and see how fine it feels to produce life. Hiring Velusu is already bedding in nicely. Get it? They have already given me the means to beautify my home. If I prove myself a worthy farmer with this gut rot flower, perhaps they will share more of their agricultural secrets. Except, Wonderful, my friend. Soon our home will be filled with delicate perfume for which this plant was named. Crap. Okay. For the large hydroponics tray, I need four metal plating. I don't want a large one. Let's, let's just do a small one. And I'll do it right in front of the window here. I need uh, two metal plating. Uh, easy enough. Uh, one, two, got it. And now I can put in the small hydroponics tray. What does it need now? Available to build one. Why you gotta be all red like that? Requires five power. Do you have to go in the middle? You have to go in a bigger room. You can't go where windows are. Hmm. 
Can you go in, in here? Aha, you can go in here. You need the windows. Or you can't go with windows. You have to go in one of these squares. See that? So you'll go in here. Okay, that's fine. Ironic. Okay, I need to grow a gut rod flower. What do I need for the old gut rod flower? Um, I need 40 facium. Fascium. Whatever. How am I going to get that? Uh, let's feed some animals. We're revolting development. Look how small you are. Look, I need some poop. I know it's kind of personal. Alright, but, uh... There we go. There we go, got some. There we go, right here. Isn't that delicious? Got 27, this is good. And, uh... Potentially we can get some more here. There. Yeah, that's, that's, that's... That's a big lot for a little guy here. That's very stinky. There, I searched the dung sample. There's some more. Really, I think this is the best part of the game, don't you think? And now I can plant what I've always wanted to do. Tech, specialist, farming, plant a gut rot flower. There it is. And that'll grow. I'm going to continue the scientist quest now. We want to go to scientific research, connect the scientist core to the convergence, visit a transmission tower to perform the operation. The transmission tower is on this planet. Yeah, there it is, right over here. How far away is that? Nine minutes. Stub. Let's go. There we go. A mere ten seconds away. It's been a while since I've flown here. There we go. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. There we go. Hit the E. We're there. I might have been to this one before. I do not remember. I tell you how I'll tell, though, is that have I been here? I have. It's the Byron Post. You've been here before. Okay. Let's see what's up. Terminal Online. I prepare to insert the Corvax Intelligent Core into the transmission tower. The judgment of the convergence awaits. Your judgment. Terminal online. Connection established. Error. Diagnostic. Corvax science unit corrupted by traveler interaction. Personality overwritten. Anomaly involvement detected. Solution. Quarantine Corvax science unit from convergence. Observe. Analyze. Silence. Hypothesis. Sentinel. Atlas. Universal foci. Countermeasure in progress. Risk assessment. Entropic. Galactic destruction. Rebirth. Error. Atlas. Error. 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 They see you. Leave. Little Atlas lore there. The Atlas is one of the stranger of the quest lines. And I'll do it at some point. Probably not soon. But you never know, right? I start the game, I decide what I think sounds like fun, and I go. Why is this red? I haven't gotten this yet? I swear I did. Well, there's another opportunity to get some crap upgrade. Nanites, 29. Uh, that's a little high. Okay, I'll take it. Well, then if I didn't do that, perhaps I can run in here and grab some more nanites, right? Yes. Thank you. There's another 30, 41. Okay. I think it's it. Nothing else in here. Uh, yeah, look at that, would you? Give me the green. There we go. I'm still a little bummed that I lost my view. What I may do is I may build something off the other side of the hill. That'll give me good views of sunset, rather than sunrise. But, um, yeah. This base gets the job done right now. Alright, hey! It's 
slash 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 slash. Entity Lumi's shell sits in front of me, awaiting reconnection. Trapped inside the data core, I have no way of knowing how the Corvax has taken the encounter at the transmitter. Reinsort core. Shell reconnection in progress. Scientist is rebooting. Boot time remaining. One hour, 29 minutes, 52 seconds. So now it's all uh, scientist and agricultural research. And... Uh, Agricultural research. Return to the farmer. Your farmer awaits at their terminal. Oh, really? Is it done? I didn't realize this. I don't think it's been long enough. How is the gut rot flower, friend? Does it blossom? Is it heavy with fruit? Oh, I already have facium. I see. Uh, hand in 25 facium. Beautiful, friend. We shall make a farmer out of you yet. While I prepare a dish of fragrant wonder, wonder ugh, another agricultural challenge awaits you. Frostwort. A large crystal flower with radiant blue blooms. Found only in snowy biomes. Frostwort can be farmed and makes a reliable crop. And its adaptation to harsh conditions results in highly frequent harvests. Suitable for hybrid hydroponic indoor planting. Ensure frozen climate before planting outdoors. Approximate growing time, one hour. I need 50 frost crystals and 25 dioxide. Okay. Well, I know where to get the frost crystals. I can get it at that hazardous base. The frostwort is a tricky thing, friend. It flourishes where other plants fail, thrusting its roots through ice and snow. But such a hard life is not for us. Plant one here in your own home and be spared the pain of winter. Hiring Velusu asked me to grow a frostwort plant and prove our hydroponic system can replicate any environment except... Wonderful, friend! It is a delicate thing to look at for such a hardy plant. Please do enjoy it. Burr. Alright. Uh, I need 25 dioxide and 50 frost crystals. And it was in here. I had the dioxide in here, right? Dioxide? Yes, I have lots of dioxide. I just need the frost crystals. So, I'm gonna have to go get those. I need to, I need to paint these rooms, too. Alright, so let's travel to... Let's see. Should list all my bases, right? Uh, Storm Crystal Base. Which I probably should rename, uh, the Ice Storm Crystal Base. It appears that the, uh, the snow has blown in the front door. Just sweep it out. That's, that's all you have to do is just sweep it out. It's fine. There. Yep, just sweep it out. Okay. Alright, well, a storm is still raging outside, but I need frost work is what I need. That's the quickest way to gather frost crystals. So, in a raging storm, and hey, you know what? If I find storm crystals while I'm doing this, I'll pick them up. Don't hit me. Uh, I'm looking for the frost wart. I see some storm crystals, actually. So, why don't you run? Yeah, I'll take these. Uh, Frostwort, destination reached. I have the hazmat gauntlets. So let's get the frost crystals from these. Same as the selenium, right? These big plants. Is this dioxide, actually? It is. I could mine some of that while I'm here just because. Um, I think I mentioned that these do require hazmat gauntlets, which I have. And, because uh, I guess they're really cold. Alright. Ooh. Hello. What are you? Uh, you're a C-15. Yep. Thanks for landing. Appreciate it. But I'm not interested. Let's go in the top door and down the steps. Uh, I got save paranoia, so I'm gonna catch a save here. There we go. Save. Thank you. Storage container number two. Stub has again picked a random pad to land on. Yep, let's get the dioxide out of here. Uh, 890 frost crystals. Excellent. Okay. So I can plant these now. And I'm going to plant them up here. And you know, I'm going to need to create more of these. I'm going to need to create more of these somehow. Probably heading off in that direction. Um... 
What exactly is that growing down there? Star Bramble. I think I'm going to need that. Tech, Specialist, Farming, Frostwort. Yep. Frostwort. Yep. Oh, what did I run out of? Oh, I gotta be far enough back. I'm gonna do all these Frostwort. All of them. Cool. Because I think I'm going to need a lot of the... I don't think I'm going to need a lot of the gut rot stuff. Fascium. I could for fertilizer. But, um... Yeah, there you go. I don't think I can target this to plant. Alright. Harvest all plants. Well, they're not ready yet. How much time you got? How can I tell how much time it has? Growing time. 59 minutes. Cool. All right, so so this is actually in use now. How about that? I can return to the farmer. Yo! Hireling Velusu! You have mastered Frostwort! Your base is already feeling more homely, yes? Confirm. 50 Frost Crystals. Oh, that's right. You want Frost Crystals. Yes. Absolutely, I grew these myself. Does the way it shimmers in the light not enchant you, friend? I have lost hours to its gentle glisten, but now a plant of great contrast. Ah, the solar vine. Uh, selenium, 50-50, phosphorus, 25-25. Okay. I actually have that. I don't think I need to grow it yet. Return to the farmer. Maybe that's why... Oh. Your next crop will be solar vine, a plant that grows deep within the mantle of scorched world. It seeks out all heat from the sun or core below. Its roots can extend to such incredible lengths that once it was believed they never ended. But do not worry, friend. Here, in our facilities, they, their growth shall be more manageable. Hireling Velusu wishes for me to cultivate solar vine, a plant that usually grows only in extreme heat, except... If only I shone as brightly as solar vine. I envy the joy of discovery, friend. Let's not get carried away. Do I not have a bunch of solar vine? I have 646 selenium. Oh, you want to fit? There you go. Uh, I need two metal plating for this. Yep. There we go. No, 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 no. Small. There. Yep. And now inside here, let's put the um, solar vine. There we go. Uh, phosphorus is the chemical it needs for this. There. Now I've planted it, but I also have it in my inventory, so now I can return to the farmer. I get it. I get it. There you go. We got it all going on now. Hey, man. Hey, Velusu. You have successfully cultivated solar vine. Yes, I can smell its heat from here. It's incandescent splendor. Confirm 50 selenium. Wonderful. Savor this moment, friend, for now I lead you to a more dangerous realm of botanical study. Fungal cluster. Ew. I need 50 fungal mold and 25 ammonia. Fungal clusters are cultivated within toxic environments, but you have proved you can master much, yes? Be careful as you work, friend. Clusters have been known to cause illness and hallucin hallucination or hallucination, whatever, if improperly handled. Extend ex extended exposure is ill-advised. Hireling Valusu wishes for me to use hydroponics tray to grow fungal clusters. Except, man, wonderful. While you prepare fungal clusters, I will check our ventilation system. One can have too much of a good thing. Okay. All right. 